Libra placements. Let's do your reading, Bible. Let's do your reading. Someone here is getting out of a sticky situation in order to move towards you. And there is a like, risk element to this. But they have been thinking about this for a while. This has been in their energy for a while. But they're but it's like they are it's like they're getting to the point where it's getting it's getting frustrated for them to be in a situation where they don't want to be in. So this can be a situation like for example, they could be in a relationship. I'm using that as an example, but it could be anything, it could be even career, right? That is preventing this person from being with you. But anyways. Let's say there's a third party. This person is stuck with this third party and they are trying to get rid of the third party in order to have a clear path towards you. There is risk element to that. I'm not sure what type of risk. A livelihood. Okay, maybe they depend on each other. So for example, if this person was in a relationship or it could be even marriage, um, you know, they, they share things like assets or bank cards or money. And this person is thinking, well, if I'm exiting this connection, it's going to have a risk element to it because what if I lose my things? What if I lose my money? What if I, you know, I don't have like enough money to survive? Like there is codependency here between this person and the third party energy. And the, the risk element comes with that because if they don't have the things that they rely on with, with the third party, how are they going to manage? So they're considering the risk percentage, I want to say. Is it something that I can survive? Is it something that I'm going to lose but will be able to retain through other means? Will I be able to take the hit? So th there are a lot of calculations and kind of like analysis happening in this person's mind right now and all of this is because they want to move towards you so maybe this third energy is acting as an obstacle between the two of you okay this person could be like keeping it really friendly with you so you could talk to this person or you are on friendly terms or you're like an acquaintance of some kind, but I don't think that you are involved. Not in the way that you need to be involved or how this person wants to be involved with you. So for example, if you are friends with this person, there is attraction, there is a bit of flirting. It's not, it, it's, it's not making this person cheat if they have another person. But it's more like, oh, I can't do that because I have a person or I have a third party energy that is preventing me from being with you. So I do feel like they're keeping it. It's like they're trying not to complicate things with you before they get the thing that they are in sorted. So they want to make sure that they do things right. They don't want to they don't want to mix and match. They don't want to kind of mix up the energies and it's a good thing okay so for example if you are interested in someone but you are in a relationship you can't you can't go around cheating if you really want the person that you are interested in you have to end the things that you have common sense but the cheating you know like this person possibly could have cheated right whether you know it or not people lie right to get what they want but they that's not what they want to do here with you they want to do it right you know so yeah they are thinking of ending things with the person that they are with 
I do feel like whatever situation that they have, especially if it's a person, they are unhappy within that connection or situation, let's say. They are unhappy. So it's not like they are moving away from this connection because of you, but there is the element of also not being happy where they are. So it, it just makes sense for this person to be with you. But not only that, but the situation that they have at hand is also creating this unfulfillment. <sighs> you know, here's the thing. If this involves another person, I want to say that this person is worried about breaking this person's heart. They are. They are thinking about that and they're like, "Ugh, I hate to do that, but I'm not happy. I want to be with Libra. But I'm not going to cheat or create a complicated situation. Uh, I'm not going to create a triangulation. I'm going to end this correctly. It will be hard, but there is no other way but to do that. So it kind of it kind of upsets this person to have to do this to the other person. It kind of stresses them out. It's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna break their heart. I don't want to do that, but there is no other way to do it. Like there is no other way to do it. How 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 can I break up with someone without breaking their heart? So maybe this person is trying to exit as peaceful as possible with the person that they are with in order to not create drama. It's like they don't want to hurt anybody really, but they are not happy. So they might try to find a way to be peaceful in exiting this situation. And I don't think they are finding a way. It's more like, ugh, I want to find a way. So they could be really thinking hard about finding a way to kind of like reduce the hit when they break up with this person or whatever the situation is that they have. <sighs> yeah, yeah. For a lot of you, I feel like most of you, this is someone that is like in a serious relationship or in marriage. You homewrecker, you. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't think that... I don't think... That, like, even if this person didn't meet you, I feel like they will still be unhappy within their marriage or relationship. But now that you are in the picture, it's like, I better get going. I better break this off. Because maybe Libra will not be available. Libra is not going to wait for me. You know what I mean? And I feel like this person is worried. It's like the longer they wait and try to find an exit peacefully, it's, it's like they feel like the gap is closing. It's almost like the door is closing slowly on the both of you. And they're freaking out. They're freaking out. It's like, oh my God, I have to hurry this up. I can't, I can't miss this out. You know, I can't, I can't, I, I have to move. I have to move. I have to do something. While the door is closing, 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 closing slowly. Hmm. They really hate to see the other person upset, but they really also hate to miss out an opportunity with you. I feel like this person is like, it's like they don't feel love for this person, but they care about their well-being. It's like they don't want to just abandon them. It's like the person that they are with, they're not a bad person, but this person is not in love with them anymore or they're not feeling fulfilled and happy. And it's like they kind of feel guilty for leaving them behind, but at the same time, they're like, well, it's it's my life. It's my happiness also on the line. I'm not happy, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do this. But they're not looking forward to doing this to the person that they are already with. So there is there is mixed feelings here. Not towards you. It's, it's mixed feelings about taking that step towards breaking off the connection that they have and moving towards you. 
they feel like it's the right thing to do, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to hurt them. Is there a way? I, I, they could be they could be searching like they could be searching like is there a way to break up with someone without hurting them or without breaking their heart kind of feels like that it feels like they're trying to find a way to exit peacefully because i think like the, the person that they are with they're not a bad person it, this person is just unhappy and it happens you know like a lot of people will be in unhappy situations, but they feel guilty because, uh, you know, and they stay because they've been with that person for years, right? This is why I always say uh, relationships are temporary. It doesn't matter if it's temporary uh, six months or a year or 10 years, 20, 30 they're still temporary, if you think about it. It has an expiration date. And, you know, there are people that will die married. Like, you know, like uh, there are couples that will, you know, die as with old age. But you will have to see when they met. And you will see very rare occasions where people have met when they were like, I don't know, like 18. And they fell in love. And, you know, they grew all together and you know they're happy together because most people will stick around because they feel guilty for the years that they have spent together it's like where do i start i'm not gonna leave this behind because you know we've spent so many years together so even if i'm not happy and i'm gonna cheat i'm still gonna choose to be married to you like you know but if you think about it they're all temporary and it's okay because people change so if you expect to change and the other person changes, sometimes that change will be apart, not together. But people put so much sentimental energy towards marriage, relationships and whatever else. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that because I truly believe in marriage. I personally believe if you are in a serious relationship, it should, like your goal should be towards marriage, family, whatever. If that's not your goal, don't get married. Just be in a relationship. But I also believe through observation, through watching people, through living, that relationships are not meant to be forever. When I say forever, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, till death do us part. It's not realistic. And it actually uh, dooms a lot of people that are unhappy within connections. So you're kind of like forcing someone to be there. Like, bitch, if you are married to me and you're not happy, I don't want you to be here. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, imagine imagine having, having to deal with a husband or a wife and they're clearly unhappy but they are staying in the marriage or in the relationship because it's the right thing to do. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of my face. You are either here because you want to be here or fuck off. You know what I mean? There's no point in wasting your time being with the wrong person. And actually, it's not like wrong person because, you know, loving the person and falling out of love with them is not wrong. It's just normal, it's natural. People change, so do their feelings. So I feel like this person is trying to figure this out, Libra. Let me see how you feel about this person. Let me see how you feel about this person. Because that would kind of put things in perspective. How do you feel about this person, Libra? Ace of Cups, you love them. That's all I needed to see. You have unconditional love for them. You're not going anywhere, are you? You might even have patience that you wouldn't have normally for other people, but for this one, you are patient. 
you think about them a lot. You love them. You love them unconditionally, which tells me that even though they are in a, in a relationship, they are committed to someone or something at least, you still have that space in your heart. It's like, I'm going to love them unconditionally, whether they are with me or not. And that is a beautiful thing. That is the type of love that not many understand. So the fact that you have this for this person tells me that you truly love them. So, okay, well, uh, shall I see if you will be together? Will you guys be together? Hang on, I need to pull for this. Will Libra and this person be together? Why? You will not be able to. There is something about the community that you are in that will have a hand in this. Maybe one of you or both of you care about your, your reputation so much that you will not be together. What? All this love to be wasted? Are they what? Hang on, that was in reverse. The in-person in reverse. That was like a twist in the story. I should have left the outcome alone, huh? Yeah, you two will not last even if you end up in a relationship. There will be so much drama around the both of you. You will be like, it's not even fucking worth it, I'm out. Which is really strange. I don't really understand why. You know, you would allow drama, outside drama would affect the connection between the two of you, but I see it like that. It's almost like you will have a lot of people that will be against this for whatever reason. Maybe there is shame attached to this as well, that people will try to guilt you with and this person over this connection. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay, well, you know, if you, if you, for example, if you have the whole world against this connection and you let that be a problem, then I can't help you with that, you know, don't be together. But with the amount of love and interest that you do have for each other, who gives a fuck about reputation, drama and outside disapproval I wouldn't give a fuck if you love each other if you want to be together who gives a fuck what other people think and how other people see you bitch let them but you know it's it's your lives maybe you both care about your reputation for whatever reason and it's a valid thing you know but, at the same time, it's like, will you let that be in the way of your relationship or connection or love? Up to you. Hang on. I'm going to turn the heater off. Ugh. Oof, my legs are sore. <clears throat> so 
So let's pull you another message, Libra. Let's pull you another message. Let's see. That was a roller coaster, Libra. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck? Let's see. Libra. Someone here that's that has like financial stability that could be like even someone that could indulge in the in the sweetness of life that is coming towards you. Maybe even a little bit of overindulgence because I kept wanting to burp. <laughs> so there could be overindulgence here a little bit. This is someone that can spoil the shit out of you. Just saying. That is coming towards you to make you an offer. Let's take that and extend it and see where it goes. Uh, extended link is in the description box. I'll see you there. As I said, that there was two, 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 two. Okay, bye.